Hello everybody, my name is Minecraft Days, and welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server. Today is episode something something, I can't remember. I think it's episode 18 or 17, I, I can't remember. But today is going to be a good day because uh, for the last, the, the last episode we just did, we've been moving towards efficiency. So we made that super smelter. And uh, over the past live stream, oh there goes Daniel, over the past live stream, uh, that I had on Friday night. Also, if you're not watching those live streams, make sure you subscribe and uh, hashtag Friday Night Stream Night. And, uh, anyways, <laughs> we have been stream. I have been streaming every Friday night uh, for the past two weeks, so not that long. But we've been having a great time. It's not the best quality because my internet is not very good at all. Recording is okay, but yeah, we've been moving towards efficiency, and that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, so if we break this crafting table, there's a lever. We press that lever, and the door opens. Now, behind for this door is amazing. Do you know why? Because we can open the door, come back here, and close it. And uh, right up here is probably my, probably going to be my favorite place to be the entire season. Through this, uh, through this portal. That right there, everyone. Minecraft for Days Creeper Farm. I just placed this light now. We made a creeper farm last, uh, yesterday. For me, I record, I'm recording this on Saturday. We made a creeper farm yesterday. I need to show you it. Are you ready, guys? We've linked up a portal that it goes straight up to it so we're not loading the ground. If we do load the ground, it's okay. It's not going to cause any problems. All we have to do... Oh, this is XP there. All we have to do is, if we load the ground, we just need to go on to setting, go to difficulty, and put it on peaceful, and then put it back on hard. And that's all we have to do. Technically not cheating. But, uh, this is amazing, guys. It is insane. Uh, the creepers spawn up there. They come falling down. If I wanted to, there's a, uh, a trident killer in there. See, just like that. If I wanted to, I could hit them with this, and then I can also come and get the XP here. I just have to make sure I'm not holding anything that gets XP. And, uh, yeah. And it's right by the base. So there's the base right here. Here's the creeper farm. It's amazing. I've already gotten four... Oh, this guy, they didn't drop anything. Are you serious? I've already gotten four stacks of gunpowder. I've made it all into fireworks, and I've put them in the shop. And I also have a whole bunch. So I've gotten, like, I have 12 and a half stacks of rockets now. It, it is insane, guys. Uh, it is amazing. Not just insane, it's amazing. I do think uh, we've loaded the ground a little too much. I'm going to have to uh, probably put it back into peaceful. But yeah, that's not a shadow. We put leaves all on the ground there. Oh, never mind. There's still some creepers spawning. As you may already know, we have the super smelter. We now have the creeper farm. So what's next? Well, next I want to build a wool farm. So we are going to hop onto a creative test world. And we're going to build this wool farm. Alright, everyone. So here we are on the creative test world. Here's the mess that I had of trying to build the, um, the thing. The, um, the flush piston door. I then winged it on Plundercraft and it turned out way better. Oh, was he eating? No, you're not eating. Alright, well, this is a design. Oh, let's see. Look at that! I love that. That's perfect. Alright. The one problem would probably be when the grass grows back, but I guess it's fine for now. But, uh, it looks like it works, so we can make, like... A whole bunch of these, and I bet it would even be, be even better. All right, everyone, I'm back on the Plundercraft server. Now it's just a matter of finding out where to build this. Um, went, oh, okay. I was wondering where Daniel went. He went on a grid test world. I think I actually might make a whole bunch right here. Maybe I'm not sure. We are going to hop into a time lapse though uh, to build this. I might find a different spot. I might travel around to see if I can find a good spot. So, let's do this.
All right, everyone. So we've got our outline. We're going to make 16 sheep farms. Uh, camera for days is now up over there, AFK for uh, creepers. And I just gotta, I just gotta make sure he actually is AFK for creepers and not just standing there doing nothing. So I will probably have to turn it to peaceful then back to hard. We need to get 16 sheep so we can put them in every single one of these. We might only make a few, but I do kind of want to finish it all today. So I'm going to make the base of it, and then I'll go get, uh, I'm also going to go get the sheep. So I need to make some fences, and I'll probably just put them right about here. So I'll be back when I do that. All right, everyone. It took a lot of resource gathering, but I've now got uh, five and a quarter stacks of glass now smelting. And uh, so we just got to wait for that. And I'm going to take you over here. I showed you um, the beginnings of me building this, but I've taken a little bit of time and built most of it. Oh, look at this. Here comes one player asleep. You ready? And it's slowly coming to morning, I think. I can't tell. It should be. There it goes. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was getting scared there. But I have built up basically everything we need. I think I do need some more observers because if I look... Yeah, I've only got eight. So I need 16 observers. I need 16 dispensers. Um, I'm good on the dispensers. I'm going to need a lot of shears though. So this is going to take a lot of iron. But basically, they, the uh, sheep will sit right here. I've already got three sheep. Oh, four sheep, sorry. Um, oh, look at that. Some of my wool is finally growing. But I've got five and a quarter stacks of glass smelting because this has to be surrounded by glass. I have the exact amount of stuff you need. Um, it's just the matter of all placing it. I don't think I'm going to do another time lapse just because we did the time lapse at the beginning. But the frame of this building is actually going to be really, really good. I can't wait to build it. Uh, I have lots of good ideas for this. It's going to come around, and it's going to go all the way over that way, and then come back over and wrap around. It's going to be really, really cool, and I cannot wait to build it. But um, I don't know if I have any plans to use wool in the future. I probably will use it, uh, but I do want a wool farm just for efficiency. Um, I probably will start building a few of my buildings, my medieval buildings, out of wool because uh, wool looks pretty good for medieval. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of testing in the creative test world for with stuff. But I think this is going to be really good. And right now, the server is jam-packed. we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people on. Uh, who who left? Uh, oh, Tim left. We would have had the max amount of people, I think. Never mind. We would have had nine people on. That is the most I've seen on. I've never seen the server at max amount of members on. But it would be really, really fun. And, uh... I'm just going to breed up some sheep, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to do this. I might not uh, record the rest of this. I might just show you guys when it's done, and I might not even finish all of it tonight because it's starting to get late, and I do have to get off soon. But I'm going to go get some observer. Obse I'm going to go get some observers and some dispensers, and start making up the shears and start breeding up these sheep so I can quickly get this finished. All right, everyone. <laughs> It's been a very long time since I've, uh, came back. I've done a lot. I finished it all. Um, I don't have all of the sheep in there yet. I've only got six sheep in here. I've got white, orange, uh, light blue, yellow, red, and pink. So one day we will have all the colors in here. But right now, as you can see, it is working. And, uh, it's working really well. And I cannot wait for this to work even more. So... Uh, I'm very tired. I have to edit this video because it comes out tomorrow. So, um, anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit a like as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Tim of 3D. Hit the post notification button and join the Friday night stream nights. We have a lot of fun there. So, anyways, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.